Well, g'day folks, and welcome back. Thank you so much for joining us. You're with Huey for another episode of our Battletech Extended Commander's Edition mod post-campaign Let's Play as Titan's Molars. In the last episode, uh, we did the second <clears throat> second leg of uh, Baying of Hounds, and uh, unfortunately, um, it means we're going to have to do a three-parter, thanks to uh, the escort mission bugging out in the first episode of the Baying of Hounds. So, <clears throat> this is going to be a three-parter. Um, I do apologize for that, everyone. Um, yeah, because we got through that first mission so quickly. Uh, the second time around, because we had to do it again, we lost a uh, an APC, which is unfortunate. Uh, and yeah, it's, it is what it is, but we got through it. Let's continue on. We're going to take on the... Uh, we're going to go down with Kel, because... Who doesn't want to pass, an, pass up an opportunity? Who wants to pass up an opportunity to fight with Morgan Kel? Fight alongside him, that's just, uh, you know. Um, it's tempting it is, as it is. I'd like to take out the my, um, uh, Connor, but... Let's go three of fourteen. Actually, let's go four of eighteen. Let's go full salvage. All right. So we've got uh, sumo and hacker both with reduced. You know what? Actually, I think we will take out the commander. Only because they've got uh, low spirits, thanks to having to fight twice in a row. So, the two commanders together, let's, let's take them out, because <clears throat> why not? And who else are we going to take? Let's take out another one of our elites. Glitch, maybe? She could be good. She might on turn one, though. Uh, she's better in the Stalker. Who else? Was there Crusader Grasshopper? Hmm. She. So we had Lord Daki in the um, Atlas as well, didn't we? Archer Atlas and awesome. I definitely want to take out that Highlander. If possible. Uh. Decisions, decisions. I'll just take Glitch out. It's fine. Yeah, let's do it. Because, I mean, look, we got Kel here with 10, 11, 8, and 10. And he's got the uh, he's got 11 piloting because he's used to the Archer. It's good that we got the Archer, actually. Because uh, in the vanilla game, he goes out in, a, in an Orion. But they decide to be nice. Give us an archer. So we've got a missile boat. Um, yeah, so we've got the Atlas and the Highlander. Alright, let's do it. Is that more experience thrown away? Yeah, probably, but like I said, it's campaign, so it doesn't matter too much. <coughs> In fact, in campaign mode, you're supposed to never take out your commander because it doesn't count towards your total score at the end. Anyway, whatever. This will be a difficult fight, Commander. The Beast of Bellowit are former Kellhounds. They've received some of the best training and equipment you'll find anywhere. More than that, they've got something to prove. Thanks to that senior tech of yours for getting my archer ready for the field, for the field so quickly. It'll be nice to be back in the saddle again. Cool saying this will be tough. I'm inclined to believe him. Get your warfare on, Commander. This is going to be a hell of a drop. Command <coughs> interface initiated. Morgan, you're here. After all these years, I can't imagine. You can't imagine how gratifying it is to see you on the other end of the battlefield. You promised to release Tempest and Megan. I expect you to keep your word. It's already done, as we speak. A drop shuttle, shuttle cap uh, carrying your ex and child is on. On its way to your dropship. On my honor, I swear that it's so. In that case, you got yourself a fight. On guard, Ray. 
Re, show me what you've learned. Uh, what <clears throat> kind of place is this? A shit house. An absolute shit house. Uh, you know what? Let's let's come up a bit short. Moving out. Position confirmed. Well, let's send the two assaults in first. Look at that evasion, holy crap. Move order received. <laughs> I've got eyes on hostile reinforcements. They're heading your way. Really? Crusader on the field. Waiting for my opening. He's guarded, though. Is that, uh. Hang on. That's, uh, that's a radiation field. This isn't. Okay. Maybe then. Oh. What's that up there? Sixty five ton. All right, we'll move up. <clears throat> Let's do it. It's another Crusader. Yeah, we'll do a multi target, I think. No, let's slow you down. Why not? No head hit. Good to go. You know what? Alright, let's sit around here. Yeah, hit him with a couple L LRMs. Roger. Asian up. Hit him again. Very good. I hear ya. Let's head on this side. Ooh. Face more that way, I think. Yeah. <clears throat> it's received. Roger that! Firing on target! 
good and didn't quite take his arm off. Oh well. Lots of missile boats. Not good. I'm taking a pounding, Commander. Got a lot of stray shots on the archer there. Going for the easiest one to hit. Yikes! That hit hard. Okay. Got something you want done? Declaw or not to declaw? Yeah, declaw. That's a safe option anyway. Time to unload. Well, it worked out. That's the way we do it. Oh, oh yeah, okay. Waiting for orders. On my way. Whoo, very hot. There's a lot of missile boats. Uh, Waiting for orders. Gotta get everyone in that bubble. Oh damn, we can't. Okay, we can do that. Yeah, I think we will. Got it. <clears throat> Gotta watch these jump jets though, because if you can see, look at that. <laughs> Okay. Let's try a reserve move. See what happens. Okay. Good.
don't have cool and vent, which is a bit of an issue, but... Any luck... Uh, let's turn you off. Well, maybe not. Yeah, we'll turn that off. With any luck, we can get a crit here. Let's hope we can. Didn't need it. <clears throat> Ready for orders. Hmm. Let's go over here. Oh, don't want to face my back to him. Aye, aye. Very hot. Okay, turn that off. That off. It's fire. That. They're trying their best. Oh, got some back hits there. You got nothing, you hear me? She's in a bad way. Very bad way. Uh, I'm bleeding, Commander. And falling over. Well, she. Uh, I'm gonna need a medic. She often gets targeted. Commander. So I'm gonna stand up straight away. Any good thing is, uh, she doesn't... Back on my feet, Commander! Oh, that's an interesting... Anyway. You know what? I may as well get uh, Glitch in there first. Mate, right, come on, come on. Why won't... Oh, because I already stood up. Yes, okay. Still too hot. You know what? Just brace. <laughs> That's all you can do. All you can do is brace. Hmm. Not good. One thing we can do you betcha. is slow him down a bit. <clears throat> Uh, turn that off. Or maybe even kill him, we'll see. Didn't work. Ready to get it on. Go and punch him, maybe? Sure. Oh, we got a crit. <laughs> that is awesome. Okay, well done. Um, let's see. Turn you off and you off. Let's see what we can do here.
it's, it's, yeah, that right leg. Oh my god. Why a battle master? Seriously, why? <laughs> Okay, go for the Atlas. Cool. What can I do for you? Yeah, get in front. There we go. Uh huh. That's a plan. Ooh, right on the cusp. Okay. <clears throat> That's that land's dealt with. We'll keep rocks back. She's pretty injured. We can do this. Let's go. To be honest, I'm amazed that the uh, you. That thing is still standing. Roger. Full speed. You just move and brace. Take it nice and slow. Moving to position. Let's reserve. Holding for the right opportunity. Reserve again. And uh, let's go. They're doing, but anyway. Waiting on you, Commander. Got it. Max speed, no shooting. You can see our heat sinking is terrible with the Highlander uh, in this biome. Waiting for orders. Just move. Coordinates received. Ever so slowly. Not much good to anyone right now. You can sponge up some damage. <clears throat> cool. Good to go. Oh, we still got an alarm fifteen. Right, Commander. Guess every little bit helps. And a breaching shot. Nice. Damage minimal. 
So, 70 ton, that's gotta be, uh, that's an RM5, it's gotta be a grasshopper. What can I do for you? Let's use another breaching shot, hopefully cool down a little bit. Don't need to tell me twice. Dervish. Interesting. What's up, boss? Locking in coordinates. He doesn't have breaching shot. What he does have, though. This coolant vent, if I need it. Well, let's just go for you. It's fine. Oh, la di da, he's a master tactician. Look at me. Uh, let's reserve. I want to get a look at what, what's over here. Right, so, Archer, Grasshopper, I was correct, and an Archer. Um, do this dervish over here. You know what? Let's do it. <clears throat> Enemy mech destroyed. That worked. Fine. Orders. Ooh, any LRMs? Okay. Let's get in ever so close. So you copped a little bit of damage. So let's keep up that trend. Why not? Got it. Waiting for orders. Poor rocks. <laughs> Losing double heat sinks, by the way. That hurts. Critical hit. Okay, so he's panicked and he's not quite unsteady though. But he will get a penalty to hit. was meant to be a sponge, so... Alright, let's do it. Moving to position. You're very hot. You're pretty hot. You're not. So, you gotta go first. Confirm. Nice shot, Kel. Target neutralized. And that is why he's a legend, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, 
Man, we, let's see if we can follow that trend. Ooh, not quite as good. It's still impressive nonetheless. I hear ya. You betcha. Ooh, no precision. Okay. Let's do a uh, multi target then. Let's see if we can get this one to punch out, maybe. He's like, oh Commander. no! Okay. Well, I guess we try and keep the pressure Thank on you. Firing on target. That's fine. He can multi-target. I don't know what good that's going to do, because we are running very hot. However, he does have coolant vent, which is very, very handy. So, let's go. Multiple enemies locked in. You're screwed. I think I hit something good. I think you're about to die. Yep. Should have punched out, bro. Warning. My God, he's soaked up a lot of damage. <laughs> All right. What do we have to turn off here? Uh, let's turn these two off. Ooh, okay. Let's turn that off as well. Oh man, okay. Let's see if we can do it. Let's go. Yes! Nicely done, Titan. You punch above your weight. Color me impressed. Successful. Admittedly, it did take Titan two attempts to get a, he a head kill, but still one for each commander. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that. But yeah, look at look at everything that poor rocks lost. Two double heat sinks, uh, three medium laser pluses, and SLDF. Large pulse, that hurts. But luckily, she's not part of my crew. And we have a lot of salvage to pick from. Oh man, you'd think they'd have some like decent LRMs in there. But no, apparently not. Oh, looks like mech salvage it is then. <clears throat> okay, so lots of archer salvage like a ton of them or do we go for two separate mechs because we've got a, a possible dervish uh so oh, yeah complete grasshopper oh my goodness all right so let's go to the safe option this will get us uh yield us two mechs and maybe just maybe We'll get one or two more. Alright, so we got one archer part. Two grasshoppers and a bunch of junk. Cool. Cool, man. Uh, we don't need these, do we? No. 
<clears throat> and don't need those either. But we'll keep the rest. Very good. Hey, at least we've got a dervish and a crusader. That's more money for us. That was a hell of a fight, Titan. Rhea is dead, and the beasts of Bellowat have been scattered. It isn't what I wanted for them, but their minds were set on vengeance. We gave them a blaze of glory to go out on instead. I suppose that's near enough to the same thing. What about Tempest and Megan? Are they okay? They will be. Rhea and her people were good to the word. I'll give them that much. Naturally, Tempest is fury furious about all this. I can't say I blame her. If she'd had access to anything she could have fought them with, she wouldn't have needed my help in the first place. Even without a battle mag, she managed to kill three of them before she and Megan got captured. Tempest had beaten Rhea on her own, the Beast of Balawan would have never gotten to take a swing at you. And in my opinion, they deserved a chance. Don't get me wrong, Cal. I'm not condoning the, mur the murders or the hostage taken or any other of the other terrible shit that Rhea pulled. But you did wrong those people. They had a legitimate grievance, and this is the only way they could figure to settle it. <clears throat> You're right. They did. I suppose I'll have to live with that. The beasts were Kellhounds once. My own people. They deserve better than what I gave them, but what's done is done. Anyway, I'm in your debt. To the tune of the price we negotiated uh, at the start of this whole debacle. You were receiving that pay, plus a bonus. You've earned it. Well, thanks, Kel. What's next for you? I put Megan and her mum into the first transport to wherever they want to go. Then I get back to the Zanaya and return to the quiet life of the monastery. And I don't leave again without a damned good reason. My brother Patrick can go running on what's left of the hounds in my absence. I'd be better off without my baggage anyway. If you ever do find yourself back in the game in need of help, feel free to reach out. We worked well together. Absolutely. Companies like yours are few and far between, Titan. And I won't forget that. Morgan Kell's view screen image disappears from our view screen. We just worked with a legend, Connor. Job for the record books, if there ever was one. Godspeed, Kell. I hope that your retirement goes a little smoother now that Tempest and Megan are safe. If it doesn't, I hope that he hires us again. That man paid well. Well said. Back to your stations, everybody. Let's leave this lifeless planet behind. Yes, yes, yes. Wait, can do mech repairs? What? Uh, whatever. Dervish 6M. Crusader. Nice. And a million sea bills. For our troubles. Oh, yay. Another, <laughs> yet another medium laser triple plus. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Get our Highlander 733 um, part out of it, though. That's nice. Trebuchet. Uh, Com system. Yeah. That's a little disappointing. Anyway, that was fun. Um, so. <clears throat> uh, that's right. We uh, yes, didn't Manager. take these guys out, did we? What was he... Was he tripping? Yeah, he was totally tripping. What the hell? Yank, shut the hell up. Now, I have a sneaking suspicion we're going to need to bring out another mech for the next flashpoint. So, let's bring a missile boat. Uh, 50 tonner. So, let's see. Just in case. I don't, I don't know if we need to bring a 50 tonner, but just in case. Uh, yeah, so we've got the trebuchet 5N. Let's bring it out. We've got the 5S. What's this? 5S. Uh, shift some long range to short range support. 
Uh, with SRMs instead of LRMs, 15s, 8 extra heat sinks. So it's got 2 uh, hard points, 3 lasers. Pretty much the exact same setup as that. Oh, it's got 4. Oh, wait a sec. 3 lasers, 2 missiles, 2 support. Oh, it gets an extra, it gets uh, some support uh, <clears throat> weaponry, okay. Now the Phoenix uh, Hawk, ooh, that's cool. So three laser, one ballistic, no, what have we got here? Five laser, oh hell yeah, let's get the Phoenix Hawk out. It's ready, this bitch. It'll take one day. Got it. Shouldn't be long. I do like the Phoenix Hawk. Um, now, before we go any further, let's sell some of our goods. So we have... Um, I know we had a grasshopper. We also got a dervish we got to sell. There we go. Um... Yeah, there it is. Grasshopper. Sell that. We're making good money just from doing uh, flashpoints, actually. I gotta say. What else do we have? Oh, Crusader. Uh, that's a 3R. We've already got a 3R. Yep. Alright. Let's head on to the next system. So, this is a tough one. I believe it's 4.5 or 5 skull or something. So... It's going to be a very tough one for us, but no guts, no glory, right? This is unwelcome guests, uh, there is, oh, apparently no tonnage restriction. Okay, I must be thinking of the uh, Alliance mission, maybe. Lost tech items as a reward, and if it, yeah, four skull. Expires in 82 days, let's travel there. We're up against the house style, though, I'm not, not too comfortable with that, but... We're in a pretty re reasonably good enough standing with them. <clears throat> How can we spin this? Um, <laughs> oh, new flashpoint added in the Lindsay system. So let's have a look at that while we're on our way. Phoenix Hawk is ready for refit. Okay, that's good timing. Um... So, Lindsay, just just chill, 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 chill. Lindsay is where? No, that's Eurus. That's non, non Dees. Non Diz. However, you want to say it. Hearts of Mines and Shaunavon. And. The Long Hunt. That's a pretty good one, actually. That's not a bad flashpoint, but we are heading to whatever this system's called. Uh, Pilpala. So, we'll keep heading there. Now, we do have the Mech Bay to look at. I want to see what I can do with this Phoenix Hawk. So honestly... Oh, this one's got no jump jets. Really? Oh, that's a bit of a bummer. Oh, man. Oh, screw that. I'm taking the... Nah. I'm taking the original. Yeah, we're putting, putting you back. <laughs> Boy. Removes its jump capability in favor of better armor and heat management. Makes it less flexible and more in more restrictive environments, but still nimble and reliable skirmisher. Yeah. Uh, I really like the, uh... Is it the vector thingy? Yeah, that thing. You know, the thing? Yeah. Uh, yeah, there it is. 
So only three laser hard points. It does have two support. Probably won't even use ballistics on it, honestly. It's got a really good ability. We'll see that it's prepped and ready. So yeah, we'll get that one out. Okay, I'll we'll spend a day then getting it ready. That work order you submitted is complete. All right, awesome. Financial report in one day. So back to the McVay we go. Yeah, vector back, back thrust kit. Now these do weigh a little bit. Uh, 0.5 each, but that's that's really nothing. Uh, okay. Pretty decent armor on it, I gotta say. So, equipment. First up, let's um, put some jump jets on it. May as well stick a cockpit mod on it too, because why not? Um, melee hit? No. That might not be bad. Guess we'll try it. I mean, what's that? Uh, two tons. We'll see if it's worth it in a minute. Alright, um... One... Two... I want three. Plus ten percent jump. Maybe we want f we'll try for four. Weapons. I'm probably not going to use any ballistics on this. Okay, pure energy and mm, yeah, pure energy and support. So these are five tons each. Yeah. Maybe two mediums. So one large, two mediums? Ugh. Yuck. Screw that. Okay, so we're gonna use this like the grasshopper. Won't be as good as the grasshopper, but whatever. So we did get one of these. So, why the hell not? Yep. One. Two. Three. I don't think we can fit any ballistics on it anyway, really. I mean, we got the AC2, which is still six tons. There's no way. What are they thinking? Alright. Let's go supports then. Um, machine guns. Yeah, they're pretty cool. We do have one with an extended range, don't we? Yeah, just the one though. But we do have a couple of these. They can make things fun. Okay, they're only 0.5 each and produce no heat. Hell yes. Um, and then we need a we need a ton of ammo, don't we? MG ammo. Could go half load. Oh, you know what? Hang about a second. Hang about a second. We had impulses, didn't we? Yes, we got two of those. Hell yeah. They they run hot, but yeah, it's much better damage output. It's one. It's only one fifty five, but hey, it's still pretty darn good. Now, wait a minute. Tons of how, what tonnage are those? Two. Oh man. Maybe we take one. Damn it. 
Damn it all. Then again... <clears throat> hang on. What equipment have we got here? I think we had a... Okay, we got a melee hit gyro. Might as well. So yeah, plus 10% damage after jump. And that's with everything, so it's not energy based like the Warhammer. Uh, really want an SLDF medium pulse. Really want it. That's a good damage output though. Fairly good heat efficiency. Okay, so this is plus 10, okay, plus 10 to, uh, percent jump distance, plus 10 damage after jump. Alright, hang on a sec. You know what, we'll put these in here. 43.5. How much are these each? 5.5, alright. So then, ammo, we're going to need, uh, it's 200 rounds, a ha half load is 100. No, we need a full, full, uh, ton, unfortunately. Okay. So we have to rely on jumping around a lot. You know what? Let's keep this spare. There's every chance we're going to lose one of these anyway. Okay. Plus three accuracy. Yep. So it's only 140 now. Hmm. But like I said, we do a jump at 10 cents, it's 154. So it'll do, I guess. Alright. Tank it up. Oh. Well, I could only do so much. Uh, okay, it's... Oh, nah. Nah. This leg's gonna be a little weak. Maybe I go small lasers instead. Honestly, it's looking a better and better option. Ah, yeah, screw it. I didn't want to have to, but looks like we do. You know what? Let's take that exchanger out as well. I think it's pretty useless. Honestly. Um, let's put that impulse back in. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 where, yeah, where is it? Here. It's pretty bad. <laughs> That's really bad, but anyway, um, and at least now we don't have to worry about Oh, we do have to put uh, heat sinks in uh, What about, hang on
pacing is going to be better, actually. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll put two of those in there. If it's what we're going to deal with, it's what we're going to deal with. Uh, yeah, so if the legs go, they go. Not much you can do. Alright. That'll do. They're oh, fairly weak though, aren't they? Still, better to lose a leg with nothing in it than the arm, so let's confirm that. <coughs> Still some good damage output, so we'll take it. Alright, so how are we going for time? Oh, perfect. So we're on our way. Ready to go over financials whenever you are. How about never? I always say that, but... I hate the finance time of the month. It sounded really bad. Awesome. Let's just get there. I want to check the stores in the uh, hiring hall. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. The crew is bubbling with enthusiasm about a local cliff diving competition. In the morning briefing, Daria says, I was a request of permission to compete. Given the general interest, I'd like you to make the call. Samiri says, Let him go. It'll be entertaining. Yang adds, Could sound to us. Them. All. The cheer hammer on. It'll be a bonding experience. Oh, let's, let's be nice. Before heading to the planet's surface, Hammer spends hour after hour in the Argo's low G pool. Practicing elaborate tucks and somersaults. A week later, you find Hammer in the mess hall, regaling listeners with tales of daring do. What? <laughs> the crew attended. I, I don't know what that means. I honestly don't. Daring do. Hmm. If someone does know, could you explain that to me, please? The crew who attended put in their own color commentary. <clears throat> um. Commander, thanks for letting me compete. I didn't win, but the locals were impressed with their technique. I managed to keep up with them for a while. The highest tiers on the cliff? That's a long way down to the water. Getting shot at by PPCs is probably safer. So Hammers gained the following tags. Brave. Increased panic resistance. High spirits. Emerald increased by two. Not that we need it, but hey. I'd like to be a good boss. <clears throat> be nice of it to help reputation, but anyway, let's uh, let's not do that now because we'll leave that for the next episode. The hiring hall has drum roll, nothing, no one, don't want any of them. Pill parlor sucks. It's official. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, it really sucks. Holy crap, it sucks. Balls. Not even the gyros are any good. How many of these have I got? Oh, I've got two. Alright. That uh, sucks balls. Anyway, I think we'll leave it there, folks. Hope you enjoyed uh, the baying of hounds. Um, I, know I eventually did. Um, and if you did, uh, consider subscribing and dropping a like because it really helps my channel. And uh, I think that'll do us for now. So this is Huey signing off. And until next time, take it easy and bye for now.